Hi, today I'm going to show you how to deploy data science using DeepNote and Anvil. DeepNote just launched today. It's like the slickest Jupyter notebook you've ever seen, but it's all in the cloud and you can collaborate on it like a Google Doc. What I'm going to show you is how to use DeepNote and Anvil to deploy a machine learning model as a web application. So this is the situation where you've already solved your problem. You've got a notebook that does what you want. But the people who need to use it aren't exactly Python people. So you need a front end for your boss or your colleagues or your customers to use the notebook you've written. So I've got a notebook with an image classifier that can tell the difference between cats and dogs. I want to put a web front end on it so anyone can use this model I've built. We're going to use the Anvil uplink to connect our notebook running in DeepNote to our Anvil app. This lets us call functions in our notebook from our web app. Then we're going to use Anvil to build a user interface and drive our code, 100% in Python. First, I'm going to fire up Anvil and build my user interface. We're going to want a file loader to upload your image. And then we're going to want to display the input image with an image component and the classification on a label over here. I'll bump up the font size and add a spacer to make the layout prettier. Now it's time to connect to our notebook. I'm enabling the uplink in the Anvil editor, and this gives me an uplink key I can use in my notebook. In the notebook, we pip install the Anvil uplink library. Then we paste that code, which includes the uplink key, and just like that, our notebook is connected to Anvil. I want to define a function that we can call from Anvil to classify an image. We'll mark it anvil.server.callable, and it'll take the image as an argument. The image will arrive as an Anvil media object, so we can write it to a file and load it in Pillow. This notebook already has a function for putting a pillow image through the classifier, so we'll call that function, and then return the result in two parts. First, the score, and then second, the classification. Dog if it's less than 0.5, cat if it's greater. That's it. Our notebook's ready to classify images from the web. Let's go back to the app and make it call that function. We double-click the file loader, and now we see the Python code that runs in the browser when you upload a new file. We use anvil.server.call, and then we give it the name of our function in the notebook, classify image. Then we can just pass the uploaded file as the argument to our function. That function returns a score and a classification. We'll use these to display a message on the label by setting its text property. Finally, Let's display the input file by setting the source property on our image component. And that's it. Let's run the app and try it out. When we upload an image, the app sends it over, runs the classifier in our DeepNote notebook, and returns the results so we can display it. I'm ready to share my model with the world. I'm going to choose a public URL so anyone can use my model by going to dog or cat.anvil.app. And there we have it. We've just deployed a machine learning model as a web app with DeepNote hosting the notebook and Anvil hosting the web app. And we didn't need to know anything but Python. Why not try it yourself? There are links underneath this video where you can copy my DeepNote notebook and my Anvil app. You can find out more about DeepNote at deepnote.com and more about Anvil at anvil.works. See you next time.